Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here, and welcome back to another episode of FTL on board the Slug Cruiser Type C. The VSS Citrus here, with its crew of lemon, lime, orange, kumquat, and grapefruit, have been making their way across the galaxy with some success so far. And we have got ourselves some decent defenses with level 2 shields and some decent weapon firepower with a halberd beam to augment our original chain laser. But we are lacking a little bit in other respects, like we still have no radar system, or sensor system rather. We still only have two bars of engines, which is pretty atrocious. But hopefully we'll be able to make do with what we have here and make our way through the Zoltan homeworlds and find some success. So let's keep moving. Now, this is an interesting ship. This is probably the ship I've experimented with the most in FTL's Advanced Edition. I've filled around with it a bunch of times. But here we go, fighting an NG fighter in an asteroid belt immediately. By attempting to access these closed mining fields, you are in violation of the Natural Mineral Protection Act. Your weaponry will be confiscated for processing. We don't have time for these shenanigans. Let's fight these guys. <clears throat> Thankfully, the asteroid belt should help take their systems down pretty quick. We can't mind control or hack them through the Zoltan Shield, though, so these guys are actually pretty nasty for us to fight right now. One more asteroid's all we need, though, game. Come on, one more. One more. And, ooh, small bomb in the shields. Thankfully, we were able to dodge the crew damage, which is nice. We need to repair that quickly. All right, so their systems are down. We're going to immediately hack their pilot, or mind control their pilot, which should get their crew over there. We could go for a hack as well, since we have some power to spare now. And I might use that to disable their weapon system quickly, but I don't know if it's even worth it, really. I could try for a quick halberd beam shot through the shields here, which might be enough to take it offline. Might also just turn off the bomb, but let's try it and see. Did not do enough to do anything, unfortunately. That's too bad. Did do, did do a bunch of ship damage, which is pretty good, but unfortunately did not do at all what I was hoping for. And shields came back online just in time for us to take a whole bunch of damage. Alright, not great. We just lost our clone bay, took a bit of damage in the O2, and the weapons. Thankfully our chain laser did stay online, so that's pretty good. We're going to try and take out uh, their weapons, I guess. Weapons are damaged now, so we should be okay here. We're going to try and do some damage to their shields again, so the asteroid belt should kill them. There we go. One more asteroid. Come on, game. Take out that energy fighter for me. Thank you. All right, now we can do some repairs here without too much trouble. Ship explodes, giving us two fuel, a drone part, and 18 scrap. Now, that is definitely not an ideal situation, but we're definitely not doing too bad either. Let's get around here and repair some of this damage, get our NG to work. Grapefruit, this is what you've been made for, friend. Get doing those repairs. And we'll go fix up the clone bay next. Turn on the halberd beam so it can't suck our power out of there. We don't need to have this thing on all the time, after all, just when we need it. We're probably going to try and stick with the clone bay this time, instead of upgrading to a med bay. And we'll try and uh, do some different strategies this time than I normally do, because I've never really shown off what the clone bay can do in these videos. We'll see how it goes. We arrive here to Zoltan Researching Facility. They say they're researching genetic distortion due to stasis leave and prolonged FTL travel. We agree to participate in their study, and after we do so, they give us 10 scrap and more cookies. All right. We are return customers to that place. What do we find over here? An unarmed Zoltan transport vessel is slowly making its way towards the beacon here. They hail, saying, This is a Zoltan peace envoy. We carry no weapons or shielding, and rely on the mercy of others to communicate our message. Awesome! We found the Zoltan homeworld's quest! Let's hear them out and see what happens. They continue, saying, we take your silence for interested contemplation. They talk at length about peace and harmony, but either it's beyond our simple mind or it's all nonsense. We are slug pirates, after all. They finish, saying, Please, spread the word of enlightenment to those that have not heard. Once you have, contact our brethren. And they give us coordinates. Alright, where are they? Right nearby, too. That's actually pretty convenient. Alright, we might hop around this way. We can probably get to there and then back out this side of the map, which is where I need to go, because I don't think I can actually go over here. We'll go one, two, three, four. It should be safe enough. Or one, one, two, three, four, maybe? Yeah, let's try this. <clears throat> we can always change our course if we need to. A missile shoots across our bow and the jump completes. Our scans quickly reveal a ship with pirate markings pursuing an unknown vessel. The pirate hails us. Damn it! We weren't expecting company. Stay out of this and you can profit. Three fuel, a missile, and 14 scrap. No, thank you. Let's try to be here and attack that pirate. All right. Ship stops pursuit and logs weapons. I can't attack, do anything to them immediately. My words are not happening today. Because they can cloak out, they have an Artemis missile they'll probably be able to hit us with before the cloak ends. We'll see what happens, though. If it's a very short cloak, we may be able to stop them. Nope, it's a long cloak. All right, here comes a missile that looks like it might... Yeah, it looks like it's probably an Artemis. But we're going to try and mind control their captain. They have two rockmen on board. This is going to be a very difficult ship to kill the crew on. And we're going to send a hack after this missile hits. In the engines, lovely. Hit them in the weapons, please. Let's go send our engine crew in there to help with the pairs. All right, we're not going to let them fire that again if we can help it. Activate the hack. There we go. 
Now the Chain Laser Halberd Beam combo should be able to fire before they get their cloak back. So Chain Laser is away. And Halberd Beam is away. We're gonna fire into here, which should knock their cloak out as well, which would be really nice. There we go, Rockets offline. They try and surrender, having taken eight damage all of a sudden, offering us three fuel, a drone part, and 13 scrap. That's not enough for us to change our minds, however, and we are going to continue our assault. Now, they are trying to heal up in the med bay, which is fine. We're just going to murder this ship anyway. We have no real intention of trying to take these guys without doing so. So, fire that chain laser in there. Halberd Beam, you are ready for the kill. Goodbye, Pirate Light Cruiser. Nice try. Also, I should turn my O2 back on again. Pirate Ship explodes, giving us 17 scrap. And when we examine the ship we just saved... Uh, we find that they're an arms dealer that usually only works with rebels, but considering the circumstances, he decides to make an exception. Alright, does he actually have weapons? No, he's got drones. Some pretty interesting drones, too. A hull repair is an amazing drone, especially since we have so many drone parts. But, we don't have a drone control yet, so that doesn't actually help us. I could buy sensors, but I don't think I need those right now. It's more important for us to keep what we've got, actually. So that's too bad, but that's okay. We'll take the little reward we got from destroying the enemy ship, and we'll move on. So there's another store here if we want to press our luck and see if we can find something else cool there. But we're going to jump over here first, and then go to the store here, probably. So what do we find at this beacon? More danger, it looks like. A ship with pirate markings demands our surrender. These are sad times. Even Zoltan Space is beset by pirates. We doubt these fools will be missed, however. And we go in for the kill. So we're going to mind control their captain. Rockman decides to go fight for us. Charge laser and a bomb of some kind. Not particularly dangerous. The bomb might be more dangerous than it looks, but I'd be surprised. The charge laser, on the other hand, is pretty clearly not a big deal. Also, it looks like we might control their Zoltan, so they kill him. That's very nice. Unfortunately, I still think that the explosions should kill their crew and their mind control, but that would probably be really irritating if it happened to you, so I shouldn't really complain, should I? Chain laser over here, and let's just Halberd beam their weapons room once. There we go. This bomb is an ion bomb for sure, yep. And they've ioned our O2, which is really not a big deal. Perfectly okay with that. We're gonna go for another mind control on these guys. They have no med base. They are a potentially good target to try and take out with the mind control murder strategy. Although it looks like their crew is not particularly interested in fighting. There we go. And interestingly enough, it looks like the Rockman might actually be the one who's taken the most damage so far, which is pretty good. So this might actually work out pretty well for us. As long as this ion bomb doesn't hit us in the shields, we should be able to kill these guys. Now, yeah, I don't know if I even want to keep shooting at them. Take some more shots with the chain laser just for the experience for our gunner, because Orange could always use more training. But, uh, this should work out pretty well for us here. I, I, I think I said earlier that you couldn't uh, mind control people unless you could actually see into the room, which is a problem because we didn't have a uh, sensor system, but you don't need to do that. You can actually just do the mind controlling based on their, um, their slug senses, I guess you could call them. Now this guy might be a hard time to actually finish off though, because he does have very little health left. But it'll be hard to hit him. I could potentially hit him with a halberd beam maybe? There we go, we got him. With the crew dead, we don't take the fuel out of storage, getting 5 fuel and 29 scrap. Awesome. We're getting a lot of crew murders for having very offensive weaponry and not a whole lot of crew murdering things. But I guess the mind control gives us everything we need in that respect. Look at all these distress beacons and stuff, holy cow. Alright, we can go to the quest beacon. Can't go to the store if I wanted. We're going to go to the quest beacon first and see what we get from here, though. There's two options. We could get Zoltan shields, or we could get Envoy. Either would be nice. We arrive at a location specified by the peace-loving Zoltan. The only thing nearby is a rebel ship closing in fast. We found you. You're not getting away this time. But this is, of course, the Zoltan peace event, so we attempt to hail them. They open communications, saying that they can't imagine there's anything they could say that would save us. The rebellion must destroy those that are still loyal to the obsolete Federation. But we could say that perhaps there could be a reconciliation of our ideals without war. Our ideals are too different to be so easily reconciled. You think this could end any way but war? But of course, true progress can only be achieved without bloodshed. <laughs> he says as he murders every person he finds and never taking any surrenders. Suddenly, all indications of the rebel ship fade away and his Zoltan fleet appears around us. The captain of the ship we met previously materializes on our bridge. Although your methods are crude and most certainly ineffective, it is clear you took our previous meeting to heart. If your ship represents the Federation's willingness to adapt, we shall do what we can to aid in their fight. This technology should aid your quest. 14 scrap and a Zoltan shield! Yeah! Alright, well now we're pretty darn powerful again. <laughs> Man, 
That Zoltan shield is so good. When it was a random augment, this this event was much more reasonable, but now it's just too good. The reward is too powerful to, to ever pass up. All right, we can go to the store. We still have a bunch of money. There's another store over here we could try. I probably shouldn't have bought that power up just now. Whatever, we're gonna move on. I don't need to go to the store right now anymore. We have plenty of goods. This distress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. The satellite defenses have gone haywire and their repair crew can't approach without being fired on. Thankfully, we can easily help them with our NG crew to remotely repair their targeting system. There we go. Our crew members are able to remotely fix the glitch in the defense AI, allowing the repair crew to close in and finish the job. They gave us a fuel, a drone part, and 30 scrap, and their thank you. Very nice. Let's move over this way, then we hit that nebula, then get over there to the exit. And this has been a fairly successful Sector 3. A Zoltan ship makes contact. The, the nature of the day is rotational. The fever is, is emaciated. The reason is... They've caught some nasty deep space dementia. Before we can consider finding help for them, they open fire. Alright, they've got some serious firepower over there. We need to knock those defenses off quickly. And that's going to be difficult, given that our weaponry really doesn't do that. But we can hopefully take them down pretty quick with this combo. I think we can actually hit five rooms here, can't we? No, not quite. Not with this weapon. That's fine, though. Zoltan Shield can tank all of this, which is awesome. Chain lasers. There we go. Defenses are down. We're going to mind control their pilot, which will bring the other Zoltan over, which is ideal. Here comes more firepower. Oh, boy. All right. We got lucky that time. Okay. Ready for a halberd shot, which should kill both of their crew. Halberd beam. Ho! They exploded. Now the ship's been emptied of hostiles, we search it, finding a prisoner who offers to join our crew, 12 scrap, and a dangler, the Zoltan. Fantastic. Alright, not a great scrap reward, but getting a crew is always nice. We can damage there, though, you jerks. You guys are already dead. Dangler! Dangler! Alright, well, we need to rename you as well. You're green, though, which really doesn't fit with my remaining citrusy themes. Steven Dangler. You are going to get renamed to... Hmm... You can be... You could be Tangerine. There we go, you could be Tangerine. Fantastic. Tangerine, you're gonna go take over an important system, most likely. Although I might just have you sit in the shields room or something to give us power. It really doesn't matter where you are. And Lime already has a lot of shield skills, so I don't really want to take him off there. I normally like to put my Zoltans on shields because getting that ion-proof shield bar is great. But for now, I think we're just going to go stick him in another system where he can just chill out. Our crew have the jobs already pretty well locked down. Although, surprisingly enough, our weapon skill is still really bad. I guess it's because we do have some very slow-firing weapons. I kind of don't want to put it in here, though. Maybe put him... I don't know. Maybe he'll just chill out in there for now. Welcome aboard, Dengler. We'll figure out what to do with you later. Alright, 103 scrap again to spend. we still got lots of ground to cover. I'm not actually sure how we can get across over to there. I don't actually see where we can do it from. It might be from here that we can get to the exit. We're going to jump from here first, though, and then into that nebula beacon, and we'll see what happens. This is definitely a tricky position, though. We arrive to find a number of ships convening around a station, unless there's some unencrypted chatter between them. We tune in and listen for anything interesting. Overhearing their conversation, it seems they need to take possession of an enemy ship intact. However, we're going to leave them alone, because we really are not equipped for that. We've been doing it pretty well so far. Oh, we can make it from here. Okay. We might be able to make it from there, too. I don't know if I want to risk it, though. I might just jump. The last thing we want to do is get stranded here. We will. This is a pretty bad ending to the sector. We're going to jump over this way, though, and see what else we can do. I should really buy more she uh, more engine power before we do anything else, but here we go. A message broadcast from nearby planet announces the presence of an ancient Zoltan monastery available for visiting. It's likely just a tourist trap, but still too bad we don't have time to visit. Uh, we haven't gotten too lucky with anything here so far, but that's fine. Power up the engines again, give ourselves some more evasion, and hit the exit. We almost have up to five bars of evasion, which is my standard go-to level. What do we have here? At the Long Range Beacon, we find a well-known slave trader who hails us, offering us laborers for cheap. Two basic lasers and a missile launcher. Not too fond of that. Let's attack that slaver scum. All right. With another power bar, we can easily stick that in here. We're going to mind control their captain, who is, in fact, a mantis, which is going to make this go quite nicely for us. Let's hack those weapons. Bonk. And make sure they do not get to fire them at us. There we go. We're going to be hopefully doing a lot of damage to these guys in a second. There we go, that's what we're looking for. Lay down some hurt on that weapon system, knocks out the rocket launcher. Ideal. That's basically our ideal outcome there. Perfect. Now we are going to try and mind control these guys again in a second. Hopefully before the NG gets in there, which is not going to happen. He's, he's not very good at breaking down doors, but he can get in there anyway. 
He will try and fix that rocket launcher before too long. That's going to give us more trouble. But we're going to go for another Captain Mind Control, which is surprisingly enough not enough to interest Maxim to move out of there. He's probably going to wait until the system is repaired, which is unfortunate for us. But now they have nobody on their helm, so I can actually do some more damage directly. How much health does this guy have? 73? Okay. If I fire over here, can I hit them both? Both of their tiles? No. But I can hit the Mantis. We're gonna just try and, oops, try and just murder this Engie here. He survived, unfortunately. They can do enough damage. He has two health left. There we go. Well, at least most of their systems are disabled now, and he won't be able to do too much to us since he's gonna be still repairing that thing forever now. But it is going to make it very difficult for us to mind control kill all the crew. We're going to keep trying, mind you, but it's going to make it very difficult for us. He's almost got the weapons back up to where he could potentially use them against us. Which is not what we'd like to see. Bringing up the final bar there, and we're going to mind control the captain again. Hopefully you come down and actually fight your friend. Nope, you're not interested in fighting. Fire enough. Alright, we're going to go for the halberd beam combo then and murder both of you. There we go. He actually took damage from that one too, which is really nice. He's down to 13 health. So as long as this shot gets in here before he destroys the system, we should be able to kill them safely. Oh no, this isn't going to work. He's going to blow his own ship up, isn't he? Mind control, stop. Stop, stop, stop. I don't want him to destroy it. Ugh, oh, okay. I don't know if I can actually do anything here, though, because of the fact that he has so much, and I can't miss. I'd have to miss one of my chain laser shots to be able to hurt him. Yeah, I don't think I can actually do this. He's just going to... Hmm. That's annoying, because otherwise we'd be able to kill the crew and do this successfully. Unless, actually, we could still do it. We go now. There we go. They surrender. We've already killed them, so surrender is not an option. We scan the ship and detect no life signs. It appears the slaves died in the fight. We strip the ship and prepare to jump, getting two missiles or drone part and 30 scrap. By waiting for the shield bar to recharge there, we made sure the halberd beam only did one damage and still killed him. That was pretty interesting. I didn't think we'd be able to pull that off there, but we managed it somehow. We can actually jump back to here, which is kind of funny, but we'd be able to make it back to the exit before the sector ends, so that's fine. Next sector it is. Only one option. NG controlled. Well, NG controls are still pretty valuable when you have an NG crew on board. So let's head over here and see what we can do. We've arrived in NG space with the fall of Federation about tough times. These robotic life forms are usually willing to help. Mm. Delicious. Actually, our Zoltan shield probably would have tanked that rocket anyway, so it didn't really matter. But whatever. Whatever. All right. Well, we're here in NG controlled space. We immediately have a distress beacon to go check out, so we could go do that right away. This sector doesn't look like it has too much in it, though, so we're going to go over this way, then head back there, most likely. All right, what do we have over here? A small platform orbits near this beacon. It looks like a fueling station of some sort and is cheerily broadcasting reasonable prices in a spectrum of frequencies and languages. Let's dock with the refueling platform. We dock and signal the fuel station staff to begin refueling and we can seal our blast doors. One can never be too careful when docked. There we go. Pirates hidden on the station are confounded by our security locks, turning an attempted ambush into a fish in a barrel firefight again. We take control of the station and take five fuel out of it. Very nice. That's twice those guys have tried that same strategy on us, and neither time has it worked. Although I guess, it's, to be fair, they wouldn't have noticed it didn't happen. We've jumped into the aftermath of what seems to have been a brutal exchange between several ships. Wreckage just by our screens, and we can still see the remains of the dying ships sparking and breaking apart. It's hard to determine who the combatants were without closer investigation, so let's investigate the battlefield! The wreckage appears to be a battle between Federation fighters and rebel cruisers, although at numbered, it looks like the Federation fought valiantly. As we begin a more detailed scan of the wreckage, rebel enforcements arrive in the system and target our ship. Alright, well that's not good. Flak Mark II, two, two-shot laser, and they have three shields, which is pretty monstrous for this early in the game. So, I guess our firepower isn't quite as good as I thought it was. We're going to mind control one of their crew, though. They can't board us until they uh, take down our Zoltan shield, so that's a blessing anyway. We're going to try and knock out some of their systems here. I have no idea how powerful they are, though. We could go for a hack here, potentially, but I'm not sure if it's even worth it. We're going to take a shot, though, and see what happens. There's nobody on the helm there for a second, which is perfect. It means we can get an easy shot off at them and knock off some of their firepower. Their uh, teleporter is broken, but their clone bay is... Oh, their med bay is level 2, at least. Ooh, that flak hurts. But yeah, we should be okay here, but we're definitely not in a great position still. If he goes back to the helm, it's going to make this even harder, which he did. All right, go for the chain laser here. They have boarded us, and we were not able to knock down enough of that system to actually do damage to them, which is not good. We're going to start venting them, though. Start venting out the rooms they're trying to go to. We do have high-level doors, so we should be able to keep them down pretty successfully. Mind control their pilot again, which should stop these guys again. And this time, their evasion should be quite low, so the chain laser strategy should be effective here. There we go. Halberd beaming again. We're going to go for the weapons again. I should go for the shields, really, but I'm worried about this flak. 
Oh, thank goodness for no damage. All right, these guys are probably going to suffocate. They have no, clo no, no, no teleporter to go back home with, so we should be okay. Looks like one of those crew actually... No, they're both fine. I was going to say, it looks like one of their crew died there, but he did not actually die, as it turns out. Close the door. We're going to send our Zoltan into support here for this combat. You are going to keep suffocating, actually, so I need to leave that door open. Turn off the O2 so you can't destroy our clone bay. Thank you very much. Open this door. There we go. You can go back into shield so we get our power back. There we go. I think that's more like it. Close this door again. And they have two crew remaining. We should be able to hit them pretty easily because there's nobody on the helm here. So we'll take another shot in this way. And try and knock out that weapon system again. And the med bay. Alright, Flak 2 still online. Does not want to go away. Ooh, took a bit of damage that time. Well, it's inevitably going to happen some of these shots. We're going to have to try and do our best to mitigate it as best as possible, but it's going to be difficult, especially since they have that med bay online. I should really be more more intelligent with my shots here and fire up through this way, because this way I knock out some of their shields, which makes them a lot easier for us to do damage with in the future. And it still damages the system. They try and surrender, offering us three fuel, two missiles, and 14 scrap. We don't accept their surrender, however, and continue with our assault. We're going to do another mind control on them again. Mind control their shield crew, which should bring over this guy, yep. They're both at full health, but that should at least slow down their ability to do damage to us. Hopefully they're missing is good. Ah, it hit us in the weapons, which is very annoying, because it actually prevents us from hurting them. That is basically the worst possible outcome right now. We cannot hurt them to do the final point of damage we need to do to kill them. Get over there, NG. We need those weapon repairs quickly, otherwise this is going to suck. Alright, close that door so we don't suffocate ourselves in the future. But yeah, now we need to wait for the halberd beam to fully recharge, which is not what we wanted. More shots fired. Thankfully, lots of misses coming in this time, which is basically what we were hoping for. Tangerine is a bit of damage, but nothing so much that I need to sacrifice him to anything here. They've got their shields back up fully again, which is too bad. They're going to have another shot at us, most likely, before we can get our halberd beam ready to fire again. We'll see, though. Here goes. All right, they're dead. Nice try, Rebel Fighter. You gave a good fight that time. Three shields is pretty ridiculous right now. Ship explodes, giving us a fuel, a drone part, and 28 scrap. That is a really strong enemy, though, for Sector 4. Let's get this just beacon checked out, and then we'll keep moving forwards and see what else we can discover here. We have arrived to find a ship floating among some debris. Hello, our impulse drives are short, and we can't jump. Could you give us some fuel? Sure we can. We have 27 fuel. We can easily afford to give you two. We give them two fuel, and they... Oh, say, thank the gods, we can finally get out of here. We're jumping straight home, so take this extra weapon. We won't need it, hopefully. Another chain burst laser is donated to our cause. That could be really good together. Two chain bursts and a halberd beam? Not bad. The problem with the chain burst is that I don't really synergize with the halberd beam, because once they get up to speed, the halberd beam is still slow. But that could be a pretty nice combo if we can get it working. Unfortunately, we need about 165 scrap and power bars to be able to run both of them, but that does give us some other options too, which is still pretty valuable. So, let's keep moving and see what else we can find in this sector. There's still a lot of space left to explore, and we'll see what we can find. I'm tempted to hold on to my scrap for a little bit longer, though. We overhear some Mentis comm chatter. Negative. I have killed more humans. We gulp noticeably, but lucky they don't see us yet. Let's attack the ship, then. They have three crew, a teleporter, which they can't use, because we have our fantabulous free Zoltan shield. There are breach missile there, or Hermes missile, whatever it is, it looks pretty nasty. Shouldn't be too effective, because they're not going to have a hard time getting past our shields as well. We're going to use a hack to make sure that is even more difficult for them. Don't know what kind of bomb that is. Looks like a small bomb, though, so I'm not too worried about it. Activate the hack here. Looks like they actually, wow, they killed one of their Zoltan, or one of their... Uh, Mantis. What we're going to do now is we're going to make sure we halberd through the clone bay to make sure that guy dies for real, and their NG's also dead. Fantastic. Two of their crew are already gone. Small bomb comes off, rocket launcher comes in. Probably should have aimed for the weapons there, but thankfully they've missed us with almost everything, which is surprising, given that our evasion is only 40% right now, although we do have max level in it, which is why I was saying earlier, it's very easy to level up that system once you get moving. Fire some shots in here, and we're going to go for a halberd beam through the weapons to hopefully knock that rocket launcher offline, which we succeeded in, which is fantastic, although they just switched it, <laughs> interrupting their bomb. Ooh. Ooh, that must have hurt. All right, now this guy, we can try to do some more damage to him in a second, although we are going to need to prioritize this weapons room still, because I really do not want them to be able to fire that rocket at us once our Zoltan shields go down. So we're going to fire the beam through there. There we go. Rocket did take out our Zoltan shield, but thankfully it is now destroyed and should not be brought back online. This Mantis is going to survive effectively. Uh, how much health does he have left anyway? Yeah, 70. He's not going to go down. But the ship will die. Here we go. 
By team will survive, I mean we won't kill him and leave the ship intact. We're gonna have to destroy everything. Ship explodes, giving us three more fuel, a drone part, and 31 scrap. Awesome. There's a store over there. We have plenty more ground to cover before we go there. I kind of should go there and get ourselves another system, but since we have a drone control, or rather a, uh, a mine control and a hacking, we don't have a whole lot of system space. So that's uh, definitely something to consider. We only have room for one more system. I'd probably take cloaking at this point, but we'll see. That would make our zone shield even more powerful. After a short time, we receive a message. Hello, I hope this is not a bother, but I'm looking for an escort to a nearby system. This region is quite dangerous and our ship is not well armed. Maybe not badly armed. Sure, we'll accept. They take us one fuel as down payment, which is pretty bad, and we're gonna jump onwards to here. I don't know if you can even see their quest beacon. I didn't think to look for it there, though. We stumble across a forward scout of the rebel fleet. And they're firing up their FTL drive to get away from the one of the fleet of our position, but that's probably not gonna happen, all things considered. This drone will wreck our ability to get out of here, or with, with, keep our Zoltan shield intact, rather. But I'm not too worried. This missile's probably going to do two points of damage? One point of damage. It's a Lido. Oh, not even that bad. All right, they have an anti-drone system, though, so firing this in here is going to be fairly ineffective. We're going to try it once anyway. Eh, it got blocked. All right, so we're going to go for the serious firepower shot here and murder these poor souls. Halberd Beam. Going for the 10 damage shot. There we go. Goodbye, enemy ship. All right, they've got very little left of the rocket. Did get away and hit us immediately with the weapons. You jerks. Of course it did. All right, let's send our NG to go fix that. Turn our other chain laser online, although it's fairly slow still, so this isn't going to work out too well for us. We just knocked that rocket launcher offline, though. There we go. Should have gone for a hack there, but for some reason I didn't. Doesn't matter, it missed us anyway. All right, these guys are doomed now. Even without our halberd beam, we can still kill them. Goodbye. All right. Send you back over to the doors, and the ship breaks apart, and we're leaving to know we're still one step ahead of the fleet, getting a fuel, two missiles, and 34 scrap. We have enough to actually power up our weapons to use all of these together, which is very silly, but I think we're going to do it anyway, because why not? There we go. Can't go to the store anymore, but we can use all of our weapons simultaneously, which gives us massive potential firepower. All right. Yeah, can't make it to the store anyway, so it doesn't matter. Let's jump over this way and see what else we can accomplish here. We come across a large trade station. However, as soon as we approach, a warning goes out to all ships in the region. Do not associate with the Federation Sympathizer. All who oppose rebels will be punished. Well, we can search amongst the stores to see if someone will sell to us, or we can alter the announcer's opinions. I have never seen this option before, so we're going to try it. We locate the source of the announcement and convince the speaker to rescind his previous statement. Hopefully, we'll have enough time to shop before we can figure out what just happened. Huh. I've never actually seen that option ever before. We have nothing to sell them, so this isn't a good place to be. I can buy two repairs. But, uh, yeah, that's an interesting one. I've never seen that before. Buying a backup battery would be nice, but we really can't afford anything, so... Huh. Probably should have just fought them, but whatever. Interesting options are always fun to try out. Quest is way over there. Can't help them with that. Nope. Not happening. The NG seemed to have avoided this particular node, along with every other life form. We keep our eyes peeled for reasons why, but spin up the FTL drive without event. Alright, cool enough. Let's get down here and check out this beacon. What do we have now? An NG vessel hails us. Identity, Federation, outlier probability, implies revival, implies hope, assistance suggested. And they offer us some supplies. Three fuel, one drone part, 41 scrap. Well, can't say no to that now, can I? Let's check out this exit beacon and see what else we can do. Probably should buy some power, though, before I do anything else. But too late for that now. What do we find here? We've arrived at Long Range Beacon. When the drive is charged, we can jump to the next sector. Here we find a pawn broker set up shop at this obscure beacon. He's offering to sell us five missiles for two fuel, but that's an awful deal. We're not going to take it. I will buy another power bar, though, and stick that in the system there so we can actually use it in the future. I should really power up my engines more. But now that we have our Zoltan shield, evasion becomes even more valuable. All right, let's jump on to the next sector and see what we have up ahead. Rock-controlled sector or NG-controlled sector again. Eh, rock control has a lot of missiles. We have Zoltan Shield now to mitigate missiles a little bit, but I think I still feel like going to ng control because so far they've been doing us pretty well. So let's go over here, and then we'll go to one of these red sectors in the future. Might be an interesting one. We'll have to go ahead and see. We've arrived in NG space. The Mantis have been threatening the NG core worlds. We should be able to stock up for our journey. However, we're going to have to end this episode here for now. Thank you all very much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye